Hi, my name is Armida. This is me, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I am a cloudscape, cityscape artist. Behind me is some of my work, and this week we're gonna start another one of my nice rainbow cloudscapes. It's gonna be so much fun. So, in classic me fashion, I've already started this painting uh, early this week. I actually, we're not even painting in the studio. We're actually painting in the living room this week because I've said this before in a previous video, video whenever I'm feeling a little out of it when I'm starting a painting I like to work on it in the living room just just cuz just like a change of space makes me feel more confident in starting a painting it's just like a fun little thing I the very first thing that I did was I put all the studio stuff into the the little nook that I, we have over there where my desk is I had to clean up uh, basically the the space around it you know we got one of the cat's favorite litter box is right there in <laughs> like in the corner of the living room it's their favorite litter box that they love to use it's like we don't even have it, two other litter boxes so I had to move it and scooch it a little bit out of the way and sweep up all the litter that they kick up like does anybody else's cat do that I always see footage of, of other people's cats and I feel like our cats really kick that litter out of the litter box is that just <laughs> is that just us <laughs> we just have those kind of cats good thing I got my desk on a nice little rug that I can like I can literally just like pull it from one end and scooch it over so that I put my easel and all of my my stuff in between the computer desk and the couch right there so yeah that was the very first thing I did I made sure that I put everything out in the living room that everything was ready for me to start working and then I think our baby girl I think she's going through a growth spurt because I did not paint for two days I basically basically just slept just ate and slept one of those days I I slept for nine hours I, I slept I slept for nine hours and that's what my Fitbit said and then I also took a two and a half hour nap during the middle of the day yeah so all that was in a 24 hour period and I basically was unconscious for almost 12 hours just like she really must be growing right I'm at I'm 17 weeks pregnant right now and she's about uh five inches long and like yeah she really must be growing because I was just like so sleepy so sleepy over the the weekend but yeah after I slept for 12 hours I finally then started uh painting uh I guess you would say this is day three now because in my last video I started the working on the painting put down the base like blue like white yellow in my last video so check that out if you haven't seen it already when I was working on it uh, I haven't you know I've been pregnant I haven't painted a painting this size in quite a few months so the oil that I usually use as like an additive like a medium to add to my paints to make you know the process so much smoother it had dried up I think in the few months that I was pregnant and I was not painting I did not store my oil in a proper way to not dry up and it totally did to be fair I didn't have that much oil left like I, I probably was gonna have to buy some more oil anyway but yeah it totally dried up and it was like it's supposed to be like oil you know like oil like oily but it was like a goo like a paste so I tried adding it to my paint anyway just be like please please work I'm like please please and so it ended up doing something really weird to part of the painting that it was like really like oily and gooey if that makes sense and then I you know I got really I got so sleepy so dead tired that I didn't paint for a couple days and usually I would like paint immediately after I like put that under painting down so that it's like still wet and I can like work on top of it so by the time I was like energized ready to start working on it it was completely dry but also had like a weird sheen to it and then from my past experiences when uh, a painting it when I do like an underpainting like that and then it's already fully dried and it has like that sheen to it sometimes new oil paint will not want to stick to it it's like that layer of paint on top of it it has like some sort of barrier on it 
it, if that makes sense. I, I'm probably explaining this so, so terribly, but just like from my years of painting. So what I, I had a feeling that I was going to have to lightly sand this underpainting. I mean, I wasn't like super attached to it. It was literally just a big gradient, you know, just like blue to white to, to like a very pale yellow. So I got the finest grain of sandpaper that I have here in the studio, which, and I just gave it a nice light sanding so that I could break up that that layer of shine that was on top of the painting and then yeah and then everything was ready to start painting so then yeah immediately I started mixing up the blues for the the painting I said I've, I've said it in previous videos I like to work on the paint the paints uh you know the pigments that are closest to that underpainting that I throw on first so it's kind of like pulling the colors from the sky and like bringing them forward and then as I'm working on paintings I just work on more and more vibrant colors so usually the very first thing I have to do is is do blues you know because skies most of the time are blue well, would you know this is blue <laughs> And so I like did like the darky blue parts that were like the darker shadows of the clouds that kind of blended into like the the background blue of the sky. So that was the very first thing that I did using my nice big half inch brush. I love I love that brush. I've I've used it like it's probably my most used brush next to like my finer detailer brush. So yeah, I worked from blue and then I took a little break and then we're, did some more like purpley blues, if that makes sense. I, th I think when I'm looking back at the footage, the, the purples don't really look too purpley, but trust me, they're purple. I mixed, I mixed plenty of reds in those blues, so they're purple. And yeah, so that's basically everything that I did yesterday. But I'd say it's it's looking pretty good, especially for like only like one day, like really sitting there mixing paint, putting uh, paint down on the canvas. I feel like the, the process is pretty good. So I was like, oh, I'm pretty proud of this one. So yeah, and then with that, that then that means you're all caught up. So let's go look, go to the living room and then you can see the painting and then we'll work on it today. So yeah, here I am over back in the living room and here I am with this beautiful painting and all the progress that we've made so far. So yeah, I'm about to get started on painting and I already started mixing the bright pink that we're gonna jump into today. Yeah, look at that. Look at that beautiful pink. Oh, I love a good pink. Oh, it's gonna look so good. But yeah, so here we go. It's two days later now. I took a little break yesterday to run some errands and I went to the doctor. So they were able to, I was able to chat to them about the baby and how I'm doing. Yeah, I, I realized this that I really didn't have many concerns or complaints in like the pregnancy, like in between my last appointment and this appointment, which was about four weeks. But yeah, I really don't have that many complaints, like anything like really serious, like nothing too dangerous. You know, like I, I'm pretty sure everything is going well with uh, me and the baby. The only thing that my doctor found like a little concerning was that I haven't gained that much weight from like my very first appointment at nine weeks to now at 17 weeks. I've only gained three pounds, which apparently they would like me to gain around eight. So I don't know if like they want me to gain at least eight for like my height or something. I don't know like where the eight pound 
thing is coming from so it's like it's kind of comforting to know if i gained like five more pounds up until this point in the pregnancy that would have been completely healthy i don't know, like I've, I've always been rather small and short so the thought of me gaining eight pounds within a couple months is like whoa okay like all right but that's apparently that's what's pretty healthy but they she did measure like my bump from like i think my rib to my pelvic bone and my bump is a good size so that's 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 good so it's, that'll be that'd be a little concerning i guess if my bump was really small and i wasn't gaining enough weight for how far along i am then we might be concerned because when when they weighed me i was like i saw you know i keep track i can keep track on the scale and I, I weigh myself here as well and so i've been seeing my weight like slowly go up and so i've been able to see that i have gained a couple pounds so i was like okay like i thought that that was good so yeah, when she asked me if I had any concerns or like any comments or anything, really the only thing is that I I still feel really sleepy. Like I like definitely some sort of fatigue I still have, which I think they think that it would be gone by now. Like I think that's supposed to be like a first trimester thing. Yeah, I think the little I think she's just growing uh, a little bit more right now. Just like some days she's just really growing and some days um, I can I can act as like a total normal person. <laughs> but yeah, so now that after I went to the doctor, now I'm like trying to tell myself if I'm hungry to eat, which I mean that kind of sounds kind of dumb. You're like, yeah, duh, when you're hungry you should eat. But I don't know, I was like afraid of gaining too much weight. <laughs> I mean, I am still taking my prenatal vitamin and stuff. Like, uh, there are a few days that I forget to take it, honestly. I think that's mostly because I can eat full meals now and I don't have to, like, snack as, like, tiny anymore. But my next doctor's appointment should be us looking, is having another ultrasound so we can look at the baby and see how much she's grown. So I did schedule it on a day that Christian has off so that he'll be able to come with me when we go uh, to the ultrasound. He'll be able to finally see... Um, our little girl because he, he was not able to come with me to the ultrasound at the the very first time because they were in the middle of spring training at work and there was like impossible for him to get a day off but yeah everything is going well with the baby uh the cats are going crazy right now which i mean i love seeing them like run around the apartment like this because i just love seeing them get their little energy out and playing with each other but yeah so that was yesterday and i got a little work done on my little break day and and so we're gonna get back to painting. So yeah, it's it's looking pretty good. Uh, I definitely do think it looks really good for especially just two straight days of uh, working on the clouds. I did make sure that I left it in a good spot that it could have like a break day to dry and have the those layers get a little bit more manual. Cause uh, yeah, it's really good to, to blend on some stuff, but I do like to just like put blocks of color all together uh, on top of each other, like, like puzzle pieces, so. Yeah, so let's get to it.
Hello! Oh my gosh, who am I? I put on foundation, full thing of makeup today. I literally cannot even remember the last time I put on a full face of makeup. But look at me, and I cut my hair. Then I got a dress on. This is one of my, my new maternity dresses. You know, like a peasant dress, I think is what these are called. But yeah, so Christian and I are going out to eat with one of our old friends, Mary. She's a doll, the sweetest, sweetest human on earth. I know you're watching this, Mary. You're, you're the best. But yeah, we're going to go out to eat. So on the way over there, um, we're going to stop by Ikea. If you've seen rating my past painting studios video, then you know that the I was like, oh, one of the greatest things want a really good thing that I could get to put into this studio right now is a nice comfy chair and I had my eyes on a beautiful mustard yellow chair from Ikea but it was out of stock well guess what it's in stock now and I we're and I ordered it online and we're gonna go pick it up I'm so excited oh it's gonna be it's gonna be so so it's such a nice addition to this room Especially with the, the yellow, I feel like the pop of yellow really uh, look really comfortable and like bright and rainbowy in this room. Plus I'll have a nice like comfy chair to sit in. But I wanted a nice beautiful chair, just a chair to look very nice, but also to like slou slouch in, if that makes sense. Just like be somewhere, like sit somewhere more really comf comfy. But as for the painting, the painting is looking really good. I, I, I think it might be looking too good. But I think what's happening is I'm putting like w so many colors, so many details into it than I usually would. When I come in here and I look at my past paintings, I'm like, oh yeah, the painting I'm working on right now, I'm putting so many more colors and details into it than I normally would. I'm li quite literally working from like the very top and I'm like kind of like puzzle piecing my way down each day to like the bottom. And so that might have something, something to do with it, but I feel like that's working really good. It's looking really good, at least the parts that are already finished. <laughs> As it's like, it's like loading, it's like a printer. It's like, I'm the printer and the, this painting is like eh, being printed out from top to bottom. But I think it, it's looking really good. The colors are really good. It might be probably the best rainbow cloudscape especially of this size that I've done. So I was like, ooh. It makes me think that maybe I should have done this on a bigger canvas. But at the time I was like, oh yeah, this is perfect. Perfect source image for this canvas compositionally and everything. But maybe in the end, I probably should have done a bigger one so that I could have had those details be more prominent and huge. But I mean, nah, you live and you learn. It's, it's, it's halfway done, so it's just... <laughs>
So yeah, here's the chair fully put together. It looks amazing, like exactly what I pictured. Perfect mustard yellow color and it really does look really nice in the studio. Yeah, the chair won't be staying here. I'll probably put it in the far corner so that I, it's like a nicer spot that I can like sit and watch something on the TV and also sit back and look at all my artwork from like a distance. Really get to, to enjoy the space. That's what this kind of chair is. Uh, as of right now, it still very much smells like Ikea. So at night night I'm I like <laughs> so I washed like a whole ton of towels like just a ton of extra towels that we had washed it with like our regular soap yeah just so that the towels just like smell like us and I every night I cover it with the towels that smell like us so that the cats don't come in and smell you know something foreign like ikea and stuff and like scratch it up or, or pee on it i hope so so far i haven't seen them really scratch it up i mean coffee a couple times tried nibbling on these little buttons that we got here but i was able to stop them so we'll see how long it takes for our scent to, to, to mark up on the scouts because it's a brand new brand new furniture but yeah as for the painting i've said it a million times but it's looking really good it's just that it is taking me twice as long as i originally planned i thought that it was going to be like five sessions but it looks like it's gonna be more like 10 so i'm gonna have to split this vlog into two parts so i hope you don't mind so next week uh tune in to my next video so that you can see me actually finish this painting uh it is looking really good i am really proud with like how much i'm able to paint that I am able to just like, even if it's just for half an hour, I can like sit and I can work on it there in the living room so that some work gets done on it. I'm still making the time to, to paint on it and I'm really proud of myself for that. So sometimes you have to you have to cheer yourself on because like who who's gonna cheer, cheer you on if you don't? So yeah, that's it for this vlog. I really hoped you enjoyed uh, my the progress of my painting, my first big painting back from my little break since I found out I was pregnant and yeah, and so if you like this video and you're proud of me, hit the like button and subscribe so that you can see me finish the painting and if you like my work. <laughs> so yeah, I'll see you next time. Okay, goodbye.